When you go back to last October's groundbreaking, it was significant in no small part due to this being the first development for the 1200 acre science, technology and advanced manufacturing park, commonly known as stamp, which for years have been trying to attract tenants out in Genesee County without success. During our most recent visit, Plug Power was constructing the large spheres which will be able to store up to a million gallons of liquid hydrogen. The $290 million project is one that our partners at Investigative Post reported got 113 million in tax breaks and other subsidies for what will eventually be a plant with between 55 and 60 full-time employees. The company's manager of energy solutions and chief strategy officer said such taxpayer investments though are part of most alternative energy projects. So when you think about any new technology, there was a subsidy for nuclear industry, right? When you do oil drilling, there's a subsidy for that, right? From a tax cut perspective, when you think about coal plant, there is a clean coal subsidy. There's a subsidy. Energy is somewhat of a subsidized industry when you really think about it. But at that groundbreaking ceremony last October, we were told that the plant was expected to be operational by this month, and it was readily apparent to us during our visit a few weeks back that that was not about to happen anytime soon. Coming up at six, we'll have more about why they were not able to have the plant open by now and when they think the plant may open. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.